April, I was heavily, nope, June, I was heavily involved with Black Lives Matter, even back in June 2020. And mm-hmm. even this year, too, you know, I mean, I was involved in several different protests in front of the in front of EPS headquarters. So I'm guessing I'm guessing they, they're not my best friends. <laughs> mm-hmm. Unfortunately, I don't think I've, I, can, I can be like Casey Madu and call the police chief and get one of my tickets waived. <laughs> That's actually, that was one of the things I was going to ask about, because I noticed you've been tweeting and sharing a lot of things about that. Do um, you want to, I guess, for anyone that hasn't heard yet, because that's fairly recent, um, do you want to maybe elaborate a little bit on what's what web, went on there? And Yeah, about nine months ago. He ended up calling the police chief because he got ticketed outside of a, in the school zone uh, near his home. And he, he allegedly said he didn't call the police chief to get the ticket waived. He called them to talk about racial profiling. Here's the irony in all of this. Once again, when Black Lives Matter said police are racially profiling us, Casey Madu said, no, they're not. Now he's saying they're racially profiling. It's like he woke up one day and realized he's black. You know what I mean? Like it's for me, it was it, it was almost insincere because when the community when the community that elected him that had conversations, so many people from my own community, we actually, even though we didn't agree with him on policy and, and everything. We still wanted we still wanted someone to represent us at the cabinet table, and unfortunately, he sold us out. And the second he needed help, that's when he brought up that issue. 